Hello everyone. Today we are going to use AI in our Google Sheet, which is a very incredible, powerful feature in for the data analysis to give us a valuable insight without any effort. So we are going to leverage this AI into our projects to give us a insights. So let's go start it. So we are going to use a AI extension in our Google Sheet. To add the AI into the, our Google Sheet, first we have to go to the extension, click on add-ons and click on get add-ons. And then in the uh, search apps, you have to write sheet GPT. Then click on the second one, sheet GPT, and click on install. In, when it's, so once it's installed, click on next done close it now once you have loaded the chat uh, sheet gpt into your google sheet you have to enable it to go to the extension see sheet gpt click on enable sheet gtp it's working press ok then you will see there's a three option available in your uh, a, uh, sh google sheet the first is gpt it will give it's asked for the one prompt and it return the one outcome we have a gpt list it'll return three or four outcome based on whatever uh, list or whatever outcome you want and there's a last option which is gpt image which is create a gen generative ai image based on the prompt so i have a sample data where i have a uh, different columns now i'm going to use this uh, data for my analysis so before jumping to analysis, you have to create a business question. So here I have a business question. So first we'll create a business question by using sheet GPT. So I have already in my sheet GPT where I have uh, written a prompt that uh, provide a five business question based on the sample data. So I'll just simply copy it and uh, use in my sheet GPT. But there's a one cache here that sheet gpt won't take the entire data you have to give him a schema or a sample data so again it won't take the entire range it only work on a particular cell so for that we are going to use text join function to combine all the schemas based on the delimiter so we are going i'm going using a hyphen delimiter i don't want have a igni, igni, uh, empty cell then i give entire range close the bracket, press enter. Now, once you got the schema, I'm going to simply go back in my sheet here and copy the prompt here. And then I'm going to utilize GPT. Let's use GPT list. And then I'm writing prompt here, given sample data, comma, close bracket, comma. Then I'm using ampersand, go back here and select my schema, close the bracket, press enter. Now it's taking time, you'll see, I got my five business questions. Now, let's say you want to change the uh, different perspective business questions. So here I'm using think as a manager. So again, I can use this uh, different perspective by using ampersand and just select the think as a manager. Then the all question will be based on the manager. So simply if you change the manager into a CEO or a customer, it will give you the question based on the perspective. Now, for what is the first question is saying that what is the total sales amount by the region? So for this particular question, we have you have to create a pivot table to create a summary. So for creating a pivot table, you go to the insert tab, go to the pivot table, let's create on the existing sheet, give the name of the range of this location, press OK, create a pivot table. Now quickly drop the region here drop the sales here and quickly formatting i don't want the total let's use a sorting based on the sum of sale see i am getting the this pivot table now let's you want to cre uh, create a insight for this particular pivot table again 
Seed GPT only works on a cell. It won't take the entire data. So again, we are going to use a text join function. Text join based on the delimiter. I don't have a empty cell. Then what is the text? This is entire my text. Close the bracket. Press enter. Now I go back here. I have already written a prompt here for inside. So I simply copied the prompt and then I'm going to write GPT. Close the bracket. Open the bracket. Paste my prompt here and then I range this particular cell. Press enter. Now it's taking load. Now you'll see the data shows the North Indian as the highest sales at the sum number. Now this will give you the insight. Now let's say that you want to create a chart for this particular pivot table. To do that, first you have to select the data, go to the insert tab, click on the chart. So you'll see, you will see the bar chart where you have a sum of cell versus region. So we are going to use again G sheet GPT to give us a good titles. So again, I'm go back here. I have already a prompt here that generate five titles for the provided inside I'm copy here using a sheet GPT list the prompt is my generate five question based on the inside press comma double quote and then I'm going to rest ampersand using this particular inside close the bracket press enter now it's taking time you'll see you got the five uh, titles based on the inside then again, you can use similarly for the subtitle. So I'm using a first, let's copy the inside. Then GPT list, the prompt is here. Comma, the bracket and percent this particular inside. Was it? Press enter. Now you see you get the subtitle as well now i can just simply copy here control shift uh, paste special paste the value here i can just simply copy this title and then go back here and in my title part close it entire edit title and then customize it uh, where is chart title i can just simply write this particular uh, chart so this is how you can use sheet gtp in your analysis to provide a valuable insight and to create a, a useful titles useful subtitles to get the good looking charts in your visual i hope you like the video follow for more